Howdy y'all and welcome back. Now I know it's been a little while and honestly it's for no other reason than I've been a bit lazy to be honest. Just enjoying my new current situation more than anything. So if you can remember in the last vlog I mentioned that I'd agreed to do some work for the campsite owner. Now I started off just doing a bit of gardening Uh, it kind of led to getting some more jobs so such as like digging the holes for posts uh, I've spent the last couple of days doing some painting <sighs> yeah so the jobs have just kind of led to me getting <laughs> my own accommodation which i'm sitting in right now yeah and i am just so incredibly happy and grateful to be here so beforehand i was in my campsite i was cooking on a fire i was starting to get pretty cold because the nights were dropping to below zero and now i have a fridge freezer a microwave, a radiator, a hot plate, you know, just the safety and security of having my bike and myself in a campsite. So obviously I'm not a part, uh, I'm not camping anywhere public, which could have potentially led to a problem, maybe. So that security and peace of mind comes with this place too. So I'm just going to carry on doing good work and hopefully just see it out through here. Now, obviously I don't want to spend the next several months here and you know I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the lockdown doesn't last that long you know, I'm thinking I'm hoping two months maximum but you know who knows but we can only see another thing that has been bringing me some immense amount of joy during this coronavirus is seeing all of the conspiracy theories that come out of this horrible crisis now if you haven't seen any I thoroughly recommend after this video just looking through youtube to come across a few of these now i'm not going to go through all of them but <laughs> some of them are pretty wacky and far out there there are genuinely people out there that believe this whole thing is some kind of mass global conspiracy by our leaders to usher in a new police state and strip us from our civil liberties you know things like 5g towers are the cause of the coronavirus what i was speaking to my brother earlier and he mentioned that i think a man in manchester has actually gone out of his way to burn a 5g tower because he genuinely believes <laughs> that the coronavirus has been caused by 5g towers oh yeah there's some mad people in this world one thing i'm not looking forward to or one thing that is worrying me is what's going to happen when this hits the third world countries you know people who live in close confinement with one another who already have a lot of underlying health conditions such as hepatitis and hiv and you know are living in countries without the healthcare systems to support them already seeing images from places like india with <laughs> this mass migration from immigrants who you know are live hand to mouth day by day and you know are trying to escape this lockdown it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see um i'm not going to enjoy watching it that's for sure uh and you know my biggest concern would be that this actually turns into a new wave of mass migration from these people actually moving to the more economically developed countries such as europe I mean, how would the governments handle that? You know, they couldn't let them in because it would create another wave. It would create another lockdown and do far more damage to the global economy, far more than we're already experiencing. So I, who knows what's going to happen? Nobody knows. Let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. <clears throat> Anyway, other than that, that's that's about it. Like I said, I want to try and keep these videos short. Um, 
just a fairly quick update to kind of introduce you to my new situation which is wicked um all right i will definitely upload a video in the next couple of days just to give another update uh so until next time peace okay so there is one more thing i want to add it is just a massive shout out to everyone in the traveling community who has decided to stay put and see this thing through wherever they are in the world now it shows an awful lot of resilience to just look past all of the fear mongering all of the panic and decide to just grit your teeth and get through this so we are going to come out the other side nice one for staying put